Anybody who watched the debate last night had to come across with one impression. These guys, as, as the governor from Minnesota said, are weird. As uh, Nicole Wallace from MSNBC said, uh, can you really believe one of these guys could be president? But I, I, I tell you what, it was one hyperbole after another. It was one lie after another. But I tell you what, I think one of the most dangerous statements that were made on the debate came from Ron DeSantis. Because what he spoke about was going on the, the sovereignty of another country, attacking the sovereignty of another country. I want you to listen to this. And then we'll take it on the other side. As president, would you support sending U.S. special forces over the border into Mexico to take out fentanyl labs, to take out drug cartel operations? Would you support that kind of American military use? Yes, and I will do it on day one. Here's the thing. The cartels are killing tens of thousands of our fellow citizens. You want to talk about a country in decline? You have the cartels controlling a lot of part of your southern border. We have to reestablish the rule of law and we have to defend our people. The president of the United States has got to use all available powers as commander in chief to protect our country and to protect the people. So when they're coming across, yes, we're going to use lethal force. Yes, we reserve the right to operate. How many more tens of thousands are we going to let to die? I am sick. I've met angel moms throughout this country. I met a lady in, in Texas named Tracy and her son took one Percocet that was laced with fentanyl, immediately died. That is happening all across this country because of the poison that they are bringing in. So as president, would I use force? Would I treat them as foreign terrorist organizations? You're darn right I would. Now, let me tell you, this one hits home. Back in the, uh, it, the 1980, late 1980s, uh, Manuel Antonio Noriega, the dictator of Panama, uh, he supposedly helped the cartels launder money uh, for drugs that, are, that, that was going into the United States and other places. Well, the United States, supposedly the CIA, wanted Noriega to do things. They, they, they would turn a, a blind eye. They didn't think much of him doing this, uh, this with the cartel. But since he didn't do something the CIA wanted him to do, uh, they decided that, well, what, what Manuel Antonio Noriega was doing was dangerous to the United States, and we are going to go to Panama, and we are going to invade Panama. And after we invade Panama, we are going to kill. In other words, they were trying to get one guy, Manuel Antonio Noriega. And in the process of doing so, they killed thousands of Panamanians, according to, I think, uh, the, the report from the United States was 1,000 Panamanians. The, the report from the UN was 4,000 Panamanians. Most of us in Panama understood where the bombs fell. David, Colón, and, and uh, Panama, it, it, close to Panama City, by the Cuartel, uh, it's called uh, Chorre, not Chorrera, I don't remember the name of the town, where the, the Cuartel was for Manuel Antonio Noriega. They decimated the entire area. Tenement, ten, tenement builders surrounded the area and they killed thousands of Panamanians. We know it is north of 10,000 Panamanians, but the, bull, the American bulldozers came in and they, they got rid of everything. It wasn't even treated with dignity. So that was an invasion on a sovereign land to get the dictator of Panama and bring him to the United States. Now we have a guy like DeSantis talking about uh, he will go into Mexico and find those people who are selling drugs. Why don't you go into the United States and go into every town where these, peop these doctors are prescribing these these uh, drugs that get people addicted and when they can't get prescriptions anymore, they go to the black market to get it. Why don't you go and try to treat the people who are ill? Why don't you try to treat the people who are drug addicts in the United States? These Mexican cartels, they're nothing more than capitalists. 
There's a need for these drugs in the United States because there's a demand for these drugs in the United States, and they're just providing the supply, just like what the United States does around the world. There's a demand. We supply it. Even if the people don't like what we're supplying, even if the things that we're supplying is harmful to the population. But, you know, fentanyl is bad. Yes, it is. Why not solve the problem in the United States? It's not the pushers. It's not the the suppliers that turn these folks into addicts. It's the capitalists in the United States who created the drugs that these people depended on. And when they can no longer get prescriptions for it, after they've been turned into drug addicts, after they've been turned into addicts by the pharmaceutical companies, then it creates a market that people in Mexico and China and all and right here in the United States fulfill. It's a capitalist thing. You want to solve the problem? Stop people from being sick and needing the drugs. That is how you solve the problem. But no, America is going to go into forming a war with Mexico now, just like they invaded Panama and just annihilated 10,000 innocent people. Folks, Ron DeSantis should be ashamed of himself, and we better be careful as we constantly always are ready to go to war. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.